I, we cross the street with the double stroller and then out of nowhere it's like she sped up and she didn't see us. She ended up hitting the curb right off. I just set off the start your day? Yeah. I'm the crown the queen. <laughs> Why do you always look forward to this every day? Ready? Here we go. Oh, so pretty. Time to crown the queen. Tati, I'm a queen. Mommy, you're not the queen. <laughs> she is a queen. No, she's Yoda. Oops, stop me. Yoda. Yeah, she's Yoda. She's Yoda. She loves her bonnet so much. There you go. This girl and her accessories, huh? You love to dress up. Mommy! <laughs> Mommy, you wanna yeah. do the sliding thing? You wanna go play on the mega couch? No! The sliding! I'm the beaver. Hey. Yeah, this piece. That's me! Wow! I'm away. Oh, yeah, here. Move. Mm. Look. A house. Yeah, yeah. Hoop. Hoop. So I just bought him this outfit, and it's five to six, and it is, like, pretty small. <laughs> Looks like a little crop on him. Now done. Now done. Do you need help? Yeah, I need help too. Yeah. yeah. Mommy, we gotta go to the other two. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. 
Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden. They just love the camera, y'all. I try to hide it because they, I try to like hide the camera because I don't really want them to know they're being recorded because then they just want to talk to you guys all the time. Twacky. Twacky. <laughs> they just love you. Anyways, what I'm saying is I like to try to catch them in their element, if you will, their natural element. But they love talking to you guys. <laughs> Taking a little peek see of the bagels. They're looking good. Uh oh, careful. Nola needs some help. Nola needs help? Okay. No. Daddy, you need some help. 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 So I'm noticing someone did a little masterpiece on the crib. Wow, love that. There's some germs out there. You're gonna get the germs out? I there's some germs right here. Okay. I'm gonna how to get those germs out. Okay, so we're gonna do a little activity, Montessori activity. I'm taking some toothpaste that the kids don't use anymore that I had on hand, and he has his little Montessori teeth brushing cleaning toy so he's gonna play with that it's good for fine motor and a lot of other okay. things so I think we're gonna do that what's on your face is that Belly. food and then they're gonna go down for a nap yeah she just threw her, all her meat on the ground they got this for Christmas it has like the little teeth cards and then the little mold of the teeth I've got this because the kids hate brushing their teeth so I was hoping that this would really help you ready to open it okay mm -hmm. so we're gonna do that and then it comes with this really cute little wooden to brush some teeth you ready to brush some teeth yeah all right. Give some to it. <laughs> Hold on, let me put it on the toothbrush, okay? Mommy, hey, I want to do it by myself. Okay. Maybe. Go for it. You have to hold it. Hold it with one hand and then brush with the other. There you go. Just like that. Brush those teeth. Brush those teeth. Up there. And those up there. Good job, Noah. Good job. Oh. Uh, you have toothpaste on your hand. Uh, <laughs> ew. So yucky. What's it for my pizza? We're not making pizza, we're making bagels. Bagels? Mm -hmm. Mommy. Mommy, do I make bagels? All right, you guys, so I'm in the car. The kids are down for a nap. Finally, it has been a rough few days with naps, but 
hands down we got them done you guys have noticed i had a little wardrobe change i had an outfit malfunction i was taking photos of nola and the elastic just blew out of my sleeve on my other dress like right up here this is by the same company nothing fits but so i'm gonna see if i can do something like exchange it or something because i've only worn it like twice and this already happened so i'm not really happy about that but they're a great company overall though i have several dresses from them and they've all been fine but for some reason that happened oh it's starting to get bright anyways i wanted to talk to you guys is that too dark now uh can we get the lighting right i just wanted to come here and just gather a thought real quick i am going to head to the store probably do some shopping but i wanted to talk to you guys about something that happened yesterday and i am so i can't even believe that this happened i am still so shocked and just shook to my core honestly and just thanking god that we are okay so my mom and i were walking to the store with the kids so we were walking to the store with the kids just doing our normal little walk i love to get the kids out and you guys know we've been having car trouble so i don't even take my car that often places i really just like to walk because i'm scared of it breaking down and stuff but the store is really close to our house so we walk down the street to the grocery store and we're doing our normal walk and we're crossing over like the little trail that we have into like the shopping center and basically this lady wasn't paying attention and she almost hit us you guys and we for sure would have lost our lives or been seriously injured you guys it was so so crazy and i am just thankful to god that we are okay so basically what happened is she saw i mean obviously she didn't see us crossing but she was so far away when we decided to cross the street there was no other cars in sight we crossed the street with the double stroller and then out of nowhere it's like she sped up and she didn't see us and my mom saw her and if it wasn't for my mom we probably would have been hit because i didn't even see her coming so quickly my mom pushed me on to the little landing with the kids and then she jumped on because we were already almost across the street when she was coming anyway but she ended up hitting the curb right after my mom pushed us on the little landing and she almost crashed her car you guys like i cannot believe like god is so good i we almost were hit by a car going at least 50 miles an hour she was way speeding i just i don't know and these really nice black ladies stopped their car on the other side of the street once we made it like all the way across and they were just like oh my god are you okay i was in so much shock i couldn't even like speak to them i literally just started pushing the stroller and just like going into the shopping center i just could not process that we almost could have lost our lives right there like there's no way that we would have walked away from that like unharmed like i have been having i barely slept last night i just keep thinking about it and i just you guys god is so good we almost lost our lives like i'm gonna start getting emotional i've already cried about it i've already kind of processed it but this is not the way i wanted my new year to start and by the way i'm filming this video on new year's eve so wow it's already been such a eventful start of the year i should say or the end of this year 2021 has been crazy for so many people you guys already know so much has been going on i'm just really hoping i'm just watching the clouds go by <laughs> so pretty I'm just really hoping that 2022 is a better year for everybody. There's a lot of pressure, I feel like, on us this year. There's so many goals, like personal goals that we like need to meet. And there's just so much going on. Like, I really hope to move this year. I really hope to do get another car. Like, a lot of big things. A lot of big things that I'll talk to you guys about as they come. But yeah i just feel super overwhelmed going into the new year already i have like a whole list of things i want to accomplish this year and i just hope that i'm able to do so i think i put a lot of pressure on myself just in general but i just don't want to be snap like i don't want to be stagnant you know i feel like i've been stagnant for like three years straight and i think it's just really time to make some life changing changes <sighs> you guys i'm gonna be 26 and i just feel like i'm not where i'm at I'm not where I want to be at at 26 so I just I don't know a lot of thoughts but that was a whole car accident story I just can't believe that that 
that happened and I she she was drinking a drink like back to that she was like literally drinking a drink and her drink went like in the air when she hit the curb and was like oh my god like I know everyone makes mistakes but like really she almost could have took my kids lives not even just so much me but their lives like I am just so grateful and thankful for my mom like oh my gosh the sun just came out too like god you are so good so good I <sighs> I honestly don't really have words for how I even feel about that whole situation. I just wanted to share it here just to make sure you guys are extra careful when walking across the street or even driving. I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I just thought that was just... It's been heavily a, a part of my life the last like 24 to 48 hours and now I'm low-key terrified to start walking again this isn't even the first time something like this has happened where a car almost like hit the stroller like there was another time like a few months ago where we were in the same parking lot crossing over like one of the walkways that like dips down where the cars go but also on the sidewalk where this tesla just came through and just zoomed on the sidewalk didn't even stop and something made me hesitate to not walk for some reason I took a few extra moments and thank God again that I did because otherwise the stroller would have been hit now he wasn't going like super fast so I'm pretty sure the kids might have been hurt but I don't think they would have like lost their lives but who who knows anyways I've been chatting for so long but yeah, God is good. And now I'm just terrified to walk. Now I have not only public anxiety, I have walking anxiety, just taking my kids out of the house. Like I am just, you just never know what can happen out there. You just never know. And that is so scary. Uh, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. But I'm just so glad that we're okay, that everybody's fine. I'm definitely traumatized by the situation, but I'm so thankful for my mom. So thankful that just we're okay and in one piece. But um, yeah, so crazy. The bagels, though, on a good note, the bagels are really good. I tried them. Very happy with them. I'm going to continue to try new sourdough recipes here on this channel. I'm just really into sourdough, as you guys know. And I'll share them with you guys. But um, I guess that's on the positive side. But yeah, um... I don't think we're going to do any, like, countdown today. I know I want to do some organizing, some cleaning, but I know the kids, we're not going to do, like, the whole countdown thing. But I think right now I'm going to head to the store, do some little shopping, like, ooh, do some little grocery shopping um, for a few things that we need. And I think I'm just going to have a little shop, no camera, just enjoy the peace, quiet, <laughs> peace and quiet of just shopping by myself. And, yeah, so let me get out of here before... The kids are waking up from their nap. The kids are with Dee, by the way. They're not alone. I wouldn't leave them alone. Let's go. Here we go. It's going to happen, I think. I see. Wow.